this. And with that, I'll take your questions. Sure. John. Uh, Sarah, clearly the, the president has strong views on whether or not players in professional sports teams should stand for the national anthem. Given the response that the president has gotten over the last 48 hours, who believes that what the president said on Friday night was very divisive. Does, does the president regret at all <coughs> describing these players who take a knee for the national anthem as SOBs who should be fired? Look, this isn't about the president being against anyone, but this is about the president and millions of Americans being for something, being for honoring our flag, honoring our national anthem, uh, and honoring the men and women who fought to defend it. I think uh, General Martin Dempsey, the former chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, said it best when he said this this morning. It's important to remember that our military is composed entirely of volunteers. It obviously takes a special kind of patriotism for people to volunteer to risk their life for their country. Theirs is not blind patriotism that pretends there is nothing wrong with the country. Every man and woman in uniform knows we still have work to do to achieve the equality, opportunity, and justice for all to which we aspire. But every member of the military also knows that what is right about America is worth defending. And if it's worth defending, it's worth honoring. He continued, I just hope that the athletes who are using the anthem as a protest understand why people like me intend to keep standing during the national anthem. We do so not because we agree with everything America has done or everything that has been done in America's name, but because despite all of that, the world is a better place because America exists. That seems to me to be worth the honor of respect during the national anthem. I understand, I understand General Dempsey's uh, position. I think people would thank him for his service to this great nation. But did the president go too far in referring to these players as SOBs who should be fired? I think that it's always appropriate for the president of the United States to defend our flag, to defend the national anthem, and to defend the men and women who fought and died to defend it. Peter. Sir, let me ask you.